Let's welcome James Bostick, Interim Staffing Chief for the Columbia Richland Fire Department, also known as CRFD. You guys are also going to be at the City of Columbia's annual career fair. It's happening Tuesday, April 25th, 10 till 4 at the Columbia Metropolitan Convention Center and representing your organization. Who do you serve exactly? We serve about 500,000 citizens with the City of Columbia and Richland County. Okay, and you're looking for firefighters. And I know in simplest terms, everybody knows that you guys put out fires, but I'm sure that the job entails so much more. So why don't you just kind of lay out your job description for me? What are you looking for? The CRFD is looking for firefighters uh, who are driven, committed individuals, people who want to serve the community and uphold the core values of CRFD, community service and integrity. How does one become a firefighter? I mean, what is, what kind of training is involved with that? Well, the first process is, of course, putting the application in. Some of the qualifications uh, must be 18 years of age, high school diploma or GED, no prior felony convictions, and a valid class D driver license with no suspensions in the past seven years. That starts the hiring process with the application. They can apply online at www.columbiasc.gov. Click on the job opportunities button and search firefighter in the career portal. And we have applications for candidates new to the fire service. We have direct hire program for firefighters that are already certified in the fire service. What kind of experience do you have to have to become a firefighter? Well, we have a standard class with, which requires no experience. Uh, we have 18-week standard class and all the fire certs are taught in that class as well as EMR, emergency medical responders taught in that standard class. In the direct hire class is firefighters with prior experience with fire one or fire two certifications. They come through an advanced class about six to eight weeks with CRFD. And we kind of merge two classes together and have a, you know, so they can graduate about the same time. Okay. Let's talk about some of the benefits of, of being a firefighter with Columbia Richland Fire Department, um, because you will be there at uh, the Metropolitan Convention Center looking for candidates and people are going to want to know, well, what kind of benefits would I gain from becoming a firefighter? Well, some of the benefits of, of being a uh, firefighter with the city of Columbia and Richland is paid holidays and vacation time, paid class time, always training, taking FEMA classes in and out of the state of South Carolina, access to the state health plans and, and the poor's retirement, access to State Firefighters Association and benefits to 1% fund, pay raises for obtaining different certifications as far as rescue, hazmat, and EMT. We pay extra for when you obtain those certifications or extra if you come in, um, when you start employment, come in the door with those certifications, we, we give extra incentives um, and bonuses for those certifications, free gym memberships, and plenty more. Sounds like some pretty good perks there. <laughs> give me a, an example of a day-to-day as a firefighter, some of the challenges that you guys go through. What is it like being a career firefighter? Rewarding, challenging. One of the good things about being a firefighter, no day is never the same. It start off basically with, of course, you know, cleaning and of the station of fire truck and training. But some days it's house fires, some days it's car fires, some days it's building fires, some days it's woods fires. Um, we run a lot of medical calls at CRFD. Uh, a good percentage of our calls are medical calls, so we have a lot of our personnel are EMTs. Uh, so, just, so every day brings a, a different challenge, but the, the most rewarding thing is leaving the situation better when you left than it was when you got there. How long have you been with CRFD? Uh, this is my 24th year. Wow. I'm going to put you on the spot. I'm going to put you on the spot. Can you uh, maybe boil down a couple of your... Uh, most memorable moments as a firefighter? I would say the one that jumps out most is the flood of 2015. I saw a city come together in 2015, fire, police, EMS, civilians, city leaders, county leaders, government leaders, come together and serve the county, the city, the state of South Carolina in a way I've never seen it prior to my 15 years in the fire, in the fire service prior to then. We bonded together. Um, it was devastating, but we came together and performed and gave of ourselves. I mean, we got to the point that we even brought in some of our guys and later brought in their personal boats uh, to make sure we had enough boats to get the citizens around, you know, uh, that was trapped in the water. 
and we just in you know, we work tireless hours um, during the flood, and nobody kind of robbery to be here. You know, we wanted to be here. Um, nobody thought about you know what 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 the pay was, what overtime I was going to get, and I and I think that was one of the times that I was like in in awe that we could do it because it never happened before in my in my career of the last maybe hundred years here. But when that tone breaks, man, it's, it's excited. You want to get there. You you want to get to the scene, and you want to you know just just make whatever's wrong right. And and that's the good thing. Um, like I said, my 24 years, I've came up through the ranks of firefighter. Um, Promoted to senior firefighter, promoted to the rank of fire engineer, promoted to the rank of fire captain, and in 2021, of course, interim a uh, staffing chief. So I had, I, I think that I had a pretty good career. I've met some good people at at uh, Columbia Richland, lifelong friends. Um, chief Jenkins is is, is uh, wonderful to work for, so I enjoy <laughs> work for him. I enjoy working for the city as a whole. And I'm not gonna say I got 24 years left, but I, I, I think I'm gonna do a little more time here. <laughs> and you know, I'm I'm quite sure that many skills are being built as a firefighter. Could you talk to us about some of the skills that people learn? Well, coming through our recruit school, um, we'll, we'll begin to take on those fire skills, you know, fire one and fire two certifications. Uh, we do hazmat training in in recruit school. We do uh, medical training in recruit school, auto extrication, um, flammable liquids. So all parts of our job that we will face during our career in those 18 weeks are addressed. And like just lifelong skills, mm-hmm. you know, being, you know, sometimes uh, we have firefighters that come in that maybe never worked with a, a big team of, of brotherhood and sisterhood. So we have that, we're building relationships, you know, we're building that team building and we want to make sure that when that fire truck rolls out of that station, that we give them the citizens of, of our best. And they are preparing for us for that in those 18 weeks. And 18 weeks seem like a long time, but for as dangerous as this job uh, could be and is, that all the information that we can soak in like a sponge in those 18 weeks, uh, I, I guarantee you, you'll, you'll, you'll use those skills somewhere in your, in your fire career. James Bostic, Interim Staffing Chief for the Columbia Richland Fire Department. Again, they are participating in the Columbia Career Fair Tuesday, April 25th at Columbia Metropolitan Convention Center. What do people need to bring with them for the Career Fair and how do they get information about applying for the firefighter position and get more information about what we've talked about today? Uh, if they want more information, you can apply again at www.columbiasc.gov, which is our main city website. Job opportunities button, put firefighter in the career portal. Two job scripts will pop up, certified and non-certified. Certified is is an individual that has fire one or fire two certifications. Non-certified is an individual that has no certifications or up to fire one. For additional information, they can give me a call to the staff chief of the Columbia Fire Department at 803-545-3331 is our recruiting line. And we will be at the City of Columbia Career Fair on April 25th. We'll have a booth set up if you have any more questions. At that time, you don't need to bring anything physically with you at that time, but we will give you information what you need to bring because we will be doing the new hire testing on the 28th and 29th of April. So we will tell you anything that you will need to bring for those dates on the 25th. All right, James Bostick, thank you so much for your time. We do appreciate it. Thank you.